Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Diego with the beautiful Karina, my lovely Prometida. And we are waiting for our K-1 visa to get adjudicated at the USCIS Service Center in California, USA, just like you guys. And uh, I'm from the Panhandle of Florida. I live in north of Navarre Beach, just at east of Pensacola. And my beautiful Karina is originally from Caracas, Venezuela, and she is a legal resident of Bogota, Colombia since July 2018. And we also have a cat that we rescued, well, that she rescued off the streets of Bogota, Colombia, named Tokyo. And yes, Tokyo, our cat, will be accompanying us to the United States of America when Karina's green card, excuse me, when Karina's K-1 visa gets approved. But no, our cat doesn't need a K-1 visa. He doesn't even need a passport. How, how great is that? Come on along, I'm gonna give you January update. January 2022 visas are being approved like crazy. USCIS are working their tails off and I have got a sampling for you right here. Come on. So we have a lovely couple from Thailand who received their NOA-1 letter on January 11th of 2022, okay? And he got, Mr. Sponsor, he got his NOA-2 letter on March 6th, 2023. And today is March 7th, 2023. So that was yesterday. So that's a total of 419 days or an average of 13.9 months. And we have another couple right here, and I believe these folks are from the Philippines. Um, he got his NOA-1 letter January 4th, 2022, and he got his NOA-2 letter on March 6th, 2023, which also was yesterday. So yesterday's a good day for lots of people with January 2022 K-1 visas receipt dates, okay? Total here, 426 days or 14.2 months. Continuing on with January 2022 visa receipt dates. We have a NOA-1 letter here for a couple received January 4th, 2022, and they got their NOA-2 letter on March 3rd, 2023. Doing the math, that is 423 days or 14.1 months. Okay, and these folks, I believe these folks were from Australia. And last but not least, number four, I'm going to do four. Uh, a couple received their NOA-1 letter January 18th, 2022, and they got their NOA-2 letter on March 3rd, 2023, which is a total of 409 days or 13.6 months. Now, let's add up all four of these, We're gonna, I'm only going to do four, let's add up the four, which is a total processing average of 13.9 months or uh, 419 days. So USCIS is not taking 15 and a half months at the service center in California or Texas to process K-1 visas. Now they are processing visas in 13 point Five, let's go with 13.5 months average, which is great news, right? That's good. It's much faster. It's two months faster. So today is March. What is today? March 7th. Today is, I don't count days, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and you guys shouldn't either. Do not count days. If you count days, you're going to get sick. You're going to be mentally tired. You're going to get mentally drained, and you're going to go crazy. Okay? What we do is we count the months. We know when our NOA-1 letter was received, which, which is a receipt date of April 18th, 2022. So we work month to month. So the next time I'm going to do a calculation will be on March 18th, which will be our 11 months anniversary of our NOA-1 letter. But we don't count days in between that. It's just not worth the effort. Okay? <laughs> we'll get a headache. So, ladies and gentlemen, we've got about 78 K-1 visas approved so far for January 2022 filers. Uh, so if they're processing visas in 13.5 months now, if you have a March or a February receipt date, 
So you should start seeing results in April of this year. And if you have a March receipt date, you should see results in May. And if you have an April, uh, like we do, we should start seeing our, our NOA2 letter in June or July. So you got to hang in there. Lit, just like we're in the same boat as you guys, ladies and gentlemen. It sucks, doesn't it? It's tough. But you are very strong. I have faith in you, Karina. She's out and about in Bogota right now. She's She took the cat somewhere with her. And, uh, and I think she's investigating the airlines for, for Tokyo. But no, the cat doesn't need a K-1 visa. And we will see you very soon, boys and girls, with your K-1 visa in your hand. Miss Beneficiary, Mr. Beneficiary, it's going to be happening very soon. Hang in there, and thanks for watching. I'll be back.